Hi, my name's Laura, and I am Anthony's sister. And today I'll be explaining how to do a few of these problems. Um, so we're going to work on the first one, and that is n squared minus m. And you want to plug these into this equation. So with m equals 7, you'd put 7 right here. And with n equals 8, you do 8 squared minus 7. 8 squared, you should know what that is, and that's 64 minus 7. And with that, you'll get 57 as your answer. And then with this one, you have 8 times x minus y, and you would plug these into here. So you'd have 8 parentheses 5 minus 2, which would be 8 times 3. Because you want to do everything in the parentheses first before you do anything on the outside. And that would come to 24. And then a little bit harder one is the yx divided by 2. Um, you may be wondering, oh, what do I do first? I don't know. Ah. Well, first off, you would do 7 times 2 divided by 2. And if your teacher has taught you properly, you should know that you go from left to right. So 7 times 2 is 14 divided by 2, which equals 7. So if you really wanted to, you could have noticed that um, it's you could have crossed out the 2s and you would have gotten 7. So that's just some that's like a little trick if you wanted to. And then this is another one where you p might get confused because you may think, oh, it's m minus n, then it's divided by 4. Uh, that's not the case because the parentheses aren't there. So make sure that you are, make sure you're paying attention to where it's, where you should put the parentheses because you don't want to mess that up because you could wind up getting this one wrong. With this, it makes sense because they're being multiplied. This is just subtraction. And if you remember right, you do parentheses, then like subtract, then you do multiplication and division, then you do subtraction and addition from left to right. Um, so eight, it would be eight minus, wait, that's an M, oh shoot, hold on. Okay, so that's an M. So you would do five minus, my apologies, eight divided by four. And you would do this first because there's a division sign. Uh, so you'd wind up with five minus two, which would equal three. And then this one might be a little bit more complicated, but it's really simple. You just plug it in. 1 to the power of 3. If you think about it, if you need to break it up, it's 1 times 1 times 1. Sorry. Those are dots. <laughs> Which equals 1. So that would equal 20. And then with this one, you would just plug it in again. Just make sure you're looking at the variables and making, uh, making sure you put them in the right spots. Okay? Plus 6. Now you may be wondering, what do I do first? Oh. It doesn't matter in this instance because it's a subtraction and addition. Just make sure that you're going from left to right. Or you could just, you could honestly do it out of order and you'll still get the same answer. Um, so like the first one we'll do from left to right. So you get 5 plus 6, which equals 1. And then if you do it out of order, you get 6 plus negative 1, which is 5 plus six which equals sorry which equals 11 um so yeah hopefully this helps you out and well i can do a few i'll do this one this one seems a little bit more difficult so q divided by six plus p so where would you put the parentheses but with the six and the plus p or the q and the six you would do the q and the six i don't know if you got that right but hopefully so you'd have 12 divided by six plus p, which is 10. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. So you can cross that out and put a 2 here. And 2 plus 10 is 
12. So, yep, I hopefully that helps. And, yeah, thanks for watching.